Yeah, how are you doing, amazing people? I'm presenter West from Kenyan Music, and as you can see right now, we are the Technical University of Kenya. Yeah, I'm and as you can see, I have one gentleman. Yeah, I'm a big fashion in Guinea, Atari, Atari. How are you doing, bro? I'm doing well and easy and soft simultaneously. Wow, I like it. I like it. What's your name? I'm Munyango Lenox mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a student here at Technos of Kenya. Mm -hmm. I'm a fifth year student of civil engineering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we deal with a lot of uh, engineering statics, dynamics, with the tension of seismic focuses here and there. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm the spokesperson here, the student council, especially the office of the president. Yes, so we believe that as far as youthfulness and everything associated with sociocultural and physical events are concerned, we are well amalgamated with that. <laughs> Pardon, what did you just say? I said as far as the socio-cultural uh -huh. and socio-political activities are concerned, <laughs> yeah. we are well amalgamated with that. Wow, and where are you from? Where are you from? As far as my village and country is concerned, yeah. I'm from the heritage of the lakeside. Yeah, I'm an island. Wow, that is... Of the African subcontinent, uh -huh. what called the Gondwana land. Sure, sure, sure. Yes, sure. I'm mm -hmm. from Kisumu, that is Seme County. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our governors and senators and professors. Wow, that is amazing. I can tell, I can tell from your... From your from your comics, you know. Mm. Uh -huh. So I have some few questions for you, bro. Yes. Uh, for for a while now, we've been having uh, this type of voting whereby delegates have been voting yeah. instead of the normal kind of voting that happens in the country. Yeah. But then just the other day, they mm. said uh, that the now the, the other kind of voting whereby everyone will be casting their vote yeah. will now get back to place. Mm. What do you think about it? I want to believe that this is going to be one of the major positive and affirmative transition that can happen in the election systems of institution of higher learning. But first of all, like take for instance an analogy of two. We are about 17,000 students and the delegates that we have are around 135, which when culling happens, we barely get 130 delegates. Now you want to say that a subset of 130 is representing a superset of 17,000. It's not reasonable beyond any arithmetic errors here and there. I want to believe that the return of the universal suffrage system of voting is going to be one of the major changes. The major the, 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 the problem that students undergo, like student leaders here, nowadays you don't see, they just graduate and they go back to normal business. Why? Because they don't know how to influence the masses. If the country were to have a universal delegate system, they could transition better. We are culturing what we call what we call docile student leaders, yeah, which are very manipu highly manipulated. By different kinds of the, uh, different kind of the high authorities. Furthermore, or nonetheless, I must declare that it has come to a point that the poor or the people from humble background have no clue at all of why they are totally green. In the course of that balance and convos, I want to believe that as far as your question is concerned, the trajectory that we are taking. In this, it is part of the parliamentary committee, and I was a member, and I, I, I can remember I was, in the, I was sitting in that committee with the, the education committee for the parliament. Yes. Wow. Yes, at the wow. continental house. Mm. So I want to believe that if you can transform that, we are going to have very vibrant leaders. We are going to have highly articulated, educated leaders. We don't want to witness academically inferior people leading us in this country, and yet they control the budget of the country. I want to believe that the government and every institution mm -hmm. of higher learning or lower learning should champion and advocate for the return of universal suffrage and one comrade, one vote system. Okay, so uh, just the other day we saw Dr. William Ruto mm -hmm. uh, appointing, rather nominating uh, Professor Machogu to be the next uh, CS of Education. Yeah. Do you think uh, Professor Machogu will be able to take the education level from where Matiangi and Professor Magoha have left it to a higher level? I want to believe, and I'm very affirmative, because I want to be an optimist that is going to take it to greater levels, to higher eons of Gnosticism levels, mm -hmm. that we shall shall be told and shall trickle down in history as one of the major educational transformation and intellectual revolutions in the country. I want to believe that that appointment, it was based on highly intellectual rationale. There was no inertial thinking there. It was very, it was very influential, it was very it was also very affirmative for the government to do that. I want to be that the expert and the expatriates that involve themselves in that, they deserve it. And they are going to deliver the best. I, I believe in Professor Mitchell. Okay, okay. Yeah. That is good, that is good. Mm. And uh, what do you think about uh, CBC? CBC in itself, first of all, first things first, for people to make a decision, there must be a lot of rational analysis. Mm -hmm. And those who made this decision had rational analysis. 
those who are against the decision or partially against it also have rational analysis. We want to believe that CBC in itself, as far as the economic status of the country is concerned, where status is the plural of status, oh, sure, sure. Yeah, is concerned. I want to believe that it is it is uh, it is good, mm -hmm. but the resources that we need as a country may still not make us deliver the best, because we what we do, what we are doing mostly is sampling. We do some random sampling and systematic sampling sure. yeah, well, in resources, which will not be the case. Each student should have access to what they, get, what they have and what they need in their academic, uh, academic development and intellectual achievements. So I want to believe that CBC is well, but we have, we have to re-examine our, our status as economic uh, prowess is concerned in the country so that we can be able to achieve the best and deliver of it all. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the second last question. Yeah. Uh, what do you think the government has always declared illegal, but it isn't illegal? Or rather, what do you think the government has declared illegal, but according to you, it shouldn't supposed to be illegal? Yeah. Right from the words of uh, Ken Sarawiwa, who wrote one of the best, most compelling and spellbinding narratives or short stories, Africa Kills Her Son. He says that many people choose different things. Others choose to be teachers, others choose to be lawyers, others doctors, others also choose to be artists, others choose to be lecturers and professors, and others choose to be prostitutes, while others choose to be robbers. These things must concur in the economic ecosystem of the country. It must come on what you call the social contract theory of a country. So I want to believe that as far as illegality is concerned, different things, Rationally speaking, logically reasoning is going to uh, is going to be very supportive for me to say that uh, it is time for us to choose what is illegal and choose it because sometimes it's, it's the problem is not the action the problem is who calls it illegal. Yeah, for instance, uh, illegal is concerned. I don't want to be indulged so much in wickedness. Yes, but uh, uh, there are some kind of drugs that uh, are highly they have been used as more in different countries. I don't want to be very much irreverent yeah, with the social ethical rules. Yeah, but there are some drugs that must be examined. I believe that when I say drugs, the entire intellectual rational people get what I'm saying. Yeah, there are some kind of actions also that uh, some farming risk practices that should be embraced also because land is the source of all resources. Yeah. So go ahead and give us and give us what you, because I feel, I feel you've left with something. Mm. What is there to be used for the land? The land will be used for co-production. Mm -hmm. And it's upon, for, it's upon us to choose how best we retail it and make the best use out of it. So, do you mean uh, Wajakoya's uh, uh, kind of manifesto can still be adopted in Kenya? As I said, something cannot be fully wrong or fully right. But, partially speaking, because we must take we must take each and every statement with a pinch of salt and tincture of uh, falsehood out of it. Ah. I want to believe that uh, was a quite manifesto to most extent. If we are people who are well advanced academically and don't understand things superficially, mm -hmm. yeah, you had a good manifesto. Okay, the last question as we as we finish. Yes. Uh, who is that? Who is that one celeb you just want to punch him in the face because you just feel like you know what he or she deserves it. Mm, does that mean that uh, a celeb that somehow doesn't uh, please me well? That, that is now according to you. That is mm. according to you, yeah. Punch in the face. Yeah. Mm. That fragile verb is very, is very controversial. May you propound a bit on it? Pardon? May you expound a bit on it? It doesn't mean uh, necessarily, necessarily punching, mm. but rather even uh, lecturing them for something mm. you feel like they're doing, you don't, you don't like it yourself. That was necessary. Uh, should I reason African or should I go intercontinental? Whatever you wish. Mm. I want to believe that uh, many actions by different kind of celebrities, whether in the f performing arts, the music industry, mm -hmm. yeah, some of them make good police out of it, which of course is the goal of each and every person's actions. Mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, if you hear, if sometimes you see these movies, yeah, I don't want to be very much, uh, I, I don't want to conduct what we call argument man homine, mm -hmm. attack to man. Mm -hmm. Yes, but these movies that champion for what uh, is somehow obscene, um, for instance, with a champion for LGBTQ+, in an African setting. Yeah, those characters involved there, they deserve, uh, they deserve thorough 
re-examination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they return cars censoring of their content okay. to ensure that we preserve our culture. Thank you very much, each and everybody. As you have heard, we are here at the heart of Nairobi, the hub of intellectual yeah. rationale, yeah. and above all, the quest of converse of pillars of academic prowess and curriculum prerogatives, the Tech University of Kenya, in a nutshell. And I want to believe that as far as youth, youthfulness is concerned and the great challenge that exists between the nocturnal topper, we need to advance.